What's up? How's everybody doing this Saturday from Mark's Reviews and Rants? Damn, I just made a little video showing you what I'm eating tonight. It's pretty good, too. I'm getting too full. I got pot roast. I cooked in the crock pot all day on low. Along with the pot roast, I cooked potatoes. I got butter. I got. I put pepper on them. Sometimes I put salt and pepper, but I just put pepper on them and got butter on them. So I got some butter potatoes. But uh, carrots. I got carrots that I put in there with it. I think I said green beans, didn't I? I got green beans that I cooked. And I fixed some biscuits. Got some biscuits with it. That's what's going on. I'm going to have some left. I'll probably have to wrap some of it up. Even my youngest son was here. For some reason, he don't like roast. He, he don't like roast. He'll eat a little piece of it, and that's about it. And if I fix peas, like green peas, he might eat some peas, but other beans he don't eat. So, every time I fix roast, I might, might make me a sandwich. I think I got a good chunk left, and I'm going to make some sandwiches with it. Lately, every time I buy a roast, I haven't bought one in several months now. But when I, uh, usually when I fix a roast, there's not too much left after I eat it. I'm thinking, there are not, usually I used to have a good bit left for uh, sandwiches. And I got some sweet tea with it. That's what's going on. It's like my second helping here. I done ate one plate of beans, green beans. I done ate some potatoes, carrots. I ate a plate already, one biscuit already. This is my second plate. I just decided, just decided just, just a minute ago, I was sitting there looking at TikTok, just watching TikTok while I'm eating. It's awful quiet when I'm by myself. I'm, I'm by myself now. I guess y'all know that uh, I live by myself now. But when that air conditioning goes off, it's on now. I can hear it. I can hear the fan outside. Sometimes this refrigerator, this whirlpool, it makes noise. But, but a lot of times, everything will be off. It'll be off, and, and I have to look sometimes just to make sure. I look over and make sure electricity is on, you know, because it's so quiet. It gets like, except for the birds. You always hear them. Hey, 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 calm down. I'm on the video. I walk up to the cage. They'll shut up all the way. They won't say nothing. And then I got onions in there. I think I told you I have onions. The, uh, crop, yeah, when you put a roast in the crock pot, and it's, it's on low all day, pretty much on low all day, it's just cooking. All I do is warm my beans up, fix my biscuits, and I'm good to go. Uh, I don't know why I use these cups and all sometimes. I'll be sitting there. I gotta wash these dishes anyway. I gotta wash dishes anyway. I got my beans in a bowl. And then I got uh, this thing right here I used to dip my roast and all the crock pot. I'm probably I'm gonna let the crock pot cool down. And after I put everything, empty it out as much as I can, I'm gonna uh, let it cool down. Probably overnight. I'll probably just let it sit there with a lid on it. It had a lid on it. And then tomorrow I'll. Well, I might let it soak in dish liquid, and I'll put some Dawn in there and let it set, and then tomorrow, tomorrow I'll scrub it out real good. I don't like things you can cook in a crock pot. It's just so so much easier. Yeah, I, was, I could have fixed corn, but I know for a fact I've had this before, and I've had this meal before, and it fills me up. I get totally full. My son, he moved to Dallas March the 1st. Yesterday, they got an approval for a new apartment. Him and his roommate, and he's got another roommate moving in with him that works with him. And it's kind of like in a, he says it's like it's in town, something like Atlanta, like you're in Atlanta or, you know, the big, it's like that. So they got approved for it. It's bigger and it costs more, so it's a good bit for rent. 
Anyway, uh, the 23rd of June, he got a check. It's like a reimbursement from uh, the bank or something. It's some kind of check they sent him. And I sent it to him. It's like over $100. $160, matter of fact. I sent it to him and thinking he's going to get it before he starts moving because yesterday, they, he got approved and yesterday was their moving day. They started moving yesterday, the 8th. So, uh, I just haven't asked him yesterday. I said, you did get the check, didn't you? Because he hadn't said nothing to me. He said, no, I ain't got it yet. I said, well, you should have got it. I said, I mailed it. I got it in the mail on the 23rd. I took a picture of it and I showed him the envelope. I took a picture of it. I said, well, I'm sending it. So... Friday the 24th is when I put it in that box. I put it in a blue box at Walmart. That's where I put all my outgoing mail because I don't like to sit here, out here all day. People walk by a lot of times and stuff and I really just throw it in a blue box. But uh, So anyway, he said he didn't get it and I said, what, you didn't, I, said I, I thought you got it. I said, I said, I thought you got it by now. I mailed it on the 24th. So now, so now if he don't get it today or something, there must have been a delay. I don't know. It's, he should have got it by now. I might uh, call the post office and just let them know what box I dropped it off, what date. Maybe they could tell me something. But I told my son, I said, if you, we can't call the post office. They can't do anything. He's going to have to call whoever sent him that check and then tell him that he didn't get it. We mailed it and he didn't get it and cancel it and send him another one or something. I'm thinking, I thought you got the thing the whole time. Yeah, he sent me some texts yesterday. It's like a text, but it's some videos he sent me. And he showed me around the place. It was pretty nice, and then he showed me out the window. You can see, like, like the expressway out there and all. You can see the city. You can see, like, buildings and all that stuff. God, I hope he can make it, because he, he's going to school, too. He's, he's, he's going to school. That's mainly why I got the uh, new apartment, because his other one's farther uh a good ways away from the school and everything he has to be at. And the roommate's got a car, but she uses the car mostly. And they even had to pay $145 a month to park the car. They got the parking spot. They had to pay $145 a month. I should have asked them, darn. I don't know. I don't know how they're, I don't know how things are set up, but you would think paying that much for rent. That apartment, I mean, I, I don't know, I'm old-fashioned. I've had apartments before, not costing as much. But parking's right there. You're parking right at your apartment somewhere in there in the parking lot. I guess because it's a, you'd think they would have some kind of parking, though, really. If it's in a big city or something, I don't know. I don't know, maybe there's some departments in a such way you got to pay for parking, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, thought I'd do a little butt bang kind of thing with you. God, Leon, I'm full, boy. I got a little bit more. I got a good bit on my plate left. Woo! God. Yeah, I got them potatoes and got them potatoes. This right here is country rock. That's why I don't hardly ever buy a big one. I don't hardly ever buy a big one of these because... I won't ever use it. I bought a little one last time. It didn't last that long, but this country cock right here uses the butter for my potatoes. I don't know how I got some on the side right here and all. But anyway, it says the date, freshness date is July 9th, 2022. And I still got that much in there. I'm thinking it's still going to be good. I'm thinking it's still going to be good for so many days, you know what I'm saying? But I don't trust nothing too, too fast too much. But that's what I put on my potatoes. I put some pepper, put some butter in my potatoes. Oh, boy. I knew I was going to get full. Yeah, I think I'm going to take the rest of that. I don't know how many potatoes are still in there. Take the rest of that meat. I'm going to put it up in a bowl and wrap it up. You know, I might make sandwiches. All I like on my sandwiches, really, uh, my roast sandwiches is mayonnaise. Mayonnaise on both sides. And then put some roast, you know, get the roast and kind of chop it up good, pretty good like this. Make some good sandwiches. And that tastes good when you put them in the microwave, warm them up a little bit. They're good. Woo! God. I think about living by yourself, sometimes you eat too much. You know, if you fix something like this or like a meal, that's why I, I got spaghetti now. 
I got spaghetti right now. I got, matter of fact, I got a jar of ragu or something up there, and I got two cans of this hunch, two big cans of hunch that Food Depot have for sale one day, two different kinds. I got a uh, garlic bread in the freezer, but when me and my son lived here, even after we had a couple of helpings, of it, we still had a good bit left. My daughter, she don't come much. She's going out of town with her company a lot. She goes out of town, so, you know, or, or you know, if I ever find out she's coming, I could probably make spaghetti, and we could both eat spaghetti when she comes over or something. That's what's going on. Ain't much really exciting going on. Cats are sleeping on the love seat over there. The cat naps all day. And birds. Yeah, I see y'all looking at me. Both of them are looking at me. Every time I start talking, they start, well, I know they're quiet right now for a second. I gave them some food earlier. They ought to be happy. I try not to go to the store too much if I don't if I could help it. A lot of times I'll need a few things like the other day I was just thinking seed, bird seed for outside feeders, the bird feeders. Man, I ended up spending like a little over a hundred dollars again. Again. A lot of times when I go, I'll mainly get them little meals. I get like Stouffer's meals and banquet meals. Cause it's something I could just heat up in the microwave and eat it. Just like uh I got a spaghetti banquet meal now. And I had one the other day, and I had two fettuccine, I think, with Swedish meatballs. And uh, I fixed garlic toast with it and eat it, you know. So I can't really fix a big meal meal because I, I, I had to do something, put it in a container freezer or something. Sometimes I don't even eat it. I'll, I'll freeze it. I might put it in my refrigerator out in the garage. I got two refrigerators, one in the kitchen, one in the garage. Put it in my refrigerator, freezer out in the garage. And I'll kind of want to eat it, and it slipped my mind, and everything else, and I want to eat. I want to eat it. And I got that fettuccine. Remember that chicken fettuccine I fixed a few weeks ago? Chicken fettuccine I fixed. I got two containers. I got one with the noodles. Yeah, one with the noodles, and then one's got the sauce and the chicken. Uh, two different containers. Oh, no. I know it's boring, ain't it? It's boring watching me eat. I thought I'd do another one. I didn't get that many hits on my last one. I really didn't. A couple people was telling me, including my sister, saying, well, y'all do one of them mukbangs. Everybody always does them mukbangs. I said, I don't feel like eating and talking to people. I really don't. But. Uh, God darn. At least I'm getting uh, some green beans, which is healthy. Just in case anybody asks, I'm eating healthy on green beans and I'm eating carrots. Got carrots right here. Nobody can't see I don't, I don't eat healthy stuff. Got biscuit. So. They got us on the schedule for eight hours Monday and eight hours Tuesday. So on, according to that schedule, we go in at five o'clock in the morning to one o'clock. That's our days off. Remember I told you Sunday, Monday and Tuesday is our days off. And uh, so off Sunday and then Monday and Tuesday, eight hours each day. Eight hours Monday and eight hours Tuesday. Uh, trying to think if there's anything else I gotta say. I cut my grass last weekend, so I usually skip a weekend, so I skipped this week. It rained, even though it rained, it rained pretty good bit today. It's raining hard today. And yesterday, I believe, I believe it was yesterday it rained some. It was thunder and lightning a good bit. Before before the last couple of days, she uh, it rained just sprinkle a little bit, and the sun come out, and it just feel miserable. Like it, it feels miserable out there now. You walk out there now, you feel humid. But anyway, that's the end of my Milo T right there.
That's the last drop of that. I've had that on with how my honey meals right now. I just had never been really into making tea, you know. My ex-wife used to do that. And she would drink a lot. She drank like Dr. Pepper. If it wasn't Dr. Pepper or sweet tea, it was just constantly making tea all the time. And I drank mostly myself. I drank water. I got a bottle of water I drank all the time. But I, I'm really not into making tea because, you know, you got to buy tea bags and you got the sugar, you know, you got to buy the sugar. And I just, you know what I mean? I just I got, I just buy a gallon, you know, it's good enough. I ain't got to worry about sugar and all that stuff, buying all that, you know. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I got to say. I'll, I'll get off here. I'll get off here. I'll get over here and I'll think about something I should have brought up or something. I don't know. This is a shirt I have for a while, man. I haven't worn it in a while. Freedom. Got a motorcycle. Red, white, and blue and all that stuff. My shirts. I always say it's my shirts are shrinking up on me. I'm going to have to get another size. For real, I'm going to get another size because I'm gaining weight. I think that's why I got blood pressure. My doctor said you're gaining weight. My whole life, my whole life, all the way up when I got my thirties, I, I was skinny, all over skinny, skinny. I remember this one guy. I did security in this federal building, and uh, before I, when I was in my twenties, and this one guy that worked there, he had a briefcase and all. He worked in one of them offices. He came out of there and said, uh, "Yeah, he said I was, I used to be skinny, uh, skinny like you most of my life till I hit my thirties. He said when I get hit my thirties, start picking up weight. And he was right." When I hit my thirties, when I when I start picking up weight, when I was younger, man, I was so skinny. My dad used to give me weight gain and stuff. He give me some something that tastes like fish from a health food store, and he give me some other crap. Oh god, oh nasty. One one was a liquid. I just drank it. it. It was like fish, and then another one. It has kind of taste to it. Then when I got my accident, I got a car accident in '88. And I busted my femur, you know, and I had to put a rod in my leg. So when I was in the hospital, this this dietitian called me on the phone in the room. I said, Mister, you know, like I got my last name and all. And then, and then uh, she said, We noticed you're a little underweight for your age. Would you like us to bring you a snack up in the afternoon? And I said, Yeah, if you want to, go ahead. Most of the time, it's like a pudding cup or something, like a chocolate or vanilla or something. That's when I first learned right there in the hospital. That's the first time that I learned that they don't let you sleep in the hospital like they do in, in the, uh, you know, like they do on the shows, you know. On the shows, I say, let them rest and I'll shoot. They wake you up every, every about every so many hours. There's one woman come in the room, she'll say, had a high-pitched voice, she's pretty, but she had a high-pitched uh, voice, she'll say, Mr. Wallace, we need we need to check your vital signs. And then later on, this other nurse will come in later on and say, yeah, we're on the night shift team. We're on the night shift. Uh, so we had a whole new set of nurses. God. And in 2010, I had two, uh, two back operations, so, you know, same thing. God. They have you on that dimmer all, and you just want them to sleep, you know, and they come in there waking you up all times, and all kinds of uh, times of the morning. Every so many hours, they got to come in there and check your vital signs. They always ask you, did you have a bowel movement today? God, I hate that. Well, if I come up with another video, I'll, I'll get back with you. But I thought at the last minute, I'm going to make a, a, one of these another mukbangs or whatever. And just say, hey, and I hope y'all enjoy the rest of your weekend. And I'm not going to do nothing tomorrow, not much. I don't think I'm going to do anything tomorrow. I don't know what I'm going to eat tomorrow. All right. I say everything is off now. Everything. I mean, the refrigerator's not running right now. The air conditioner's off. It's quiet. Even the birds ain't chirping right now. Listen to it. The only thing I hear is that clock in the living room on the wall. I hear it going, you know, ticking. like. And there's one in the kitchen right here. I barely hear it. I barely hear it. 
I'm going to let y'all go. Uh, I got to start getting all that meat and potatoes and carrots. I still got quite a bit in that crock pot. I got to empty it out and put it in a bowl or whatever, a couple bowls and put them in the refrigerator. And I got to wash these dishes and clean the table and stuff. So y'all enjoy the rest of your day. I got some videos, some YouTube videos to catch up on tonight. There's a couple channels I like, you know, I pretty much like, you know, and, uh, I got one I watch, it's called, uh, it's, his name's Gilbert R. R. Senega, Gilbert R. Senega, and he's, uh, recorded videos all the way back in the 80s. He, he's like, he's like 51, he's like a couple, about three or four years younger than me, but he recorded, uh, he had a, a camcorder just like I did in the 80s. He bought one about like mine, different brand. But he started recording from the 80s on. From the 80s, he recorded like all the get-togethers and everything and just recorded all through the 80s, 90s. Now, he even had a drone a couple years ago. He hadn't used it in a while, but he had a drone, you know, the camera. But he showed videos of his sister. You know, his sister's grown now, of course, and he's got an older brother. His older brother thinks he's a year younger than I am. And he's got a... Uh, a yeah, the younger brother. Yeah, he's got, he's got, it's like, it's like, he's got an older brother, and then it's him, and he's got another brother, and his daughter, uh, sister Cynthia. They live in California, and they're, they're Mexican, you know, and Gilbert don't know the language. His mom and brother be talking the language a lot, but I think he understands some of it, but he said he really, he don't speak it. So when his family gets together, and his wife's Vietnamese, his wife's Vietnamese, or Philippine. I think she's from the Philippines. Yeah, from the Philippines, yeah. Yeah, one time he's got a video of them going there, but check his channel out. He's got more viewers than I do, of course, because he got better content. But, and there's somebody on my channel right now. I'm sorry if I don't remember your name. Sorry, right? I got a mental block. Yeah, he's on my channel. He watches Gilbert, so he knows who I'm talking about. Yeah, Gilbert. He, uh, Gilbert got a couple of videos. That I like watching his videos. It just takes me back because he took him back with his brother. You know, brothers were partying and stuff, you know. And he even did a live with two of his brothers uh, a couple weeks ago. And one, his older brother, he did a live with him the week before that, week or two before that. But uh, let me wrap this up. Uh, Y'all have a good rest of your day. Now remember. Like my videos, if you can, just like them, subscribe, if you can't subscribe, it don't cost anything, just subscribe, give me, help me support, my, you know, this, and pass my videos on if you can, I sure would appreciate it, y'all have a good rest of your weekend, I'll get back with you if I come up with another video, later on from Mark's Reviews and Rants.